Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, my name is Anna and today I will be talking about my family wrap up. Let's get going. So I'm sorry if I haven't uploaded anything last week, I was out sick and I haven't been recovering, so I am fine now. But I haven't been able to finish all of my books in February, I think I finished about four. So much so better than nothing, but um, yeah, so let's get going. So well, my first book is Emily Wilde's It's a Compedia of Fairies by Hannah Fawcett, and we're following Emily Wilde, who is a scholar, and she's going to be the first one to write an encyclopedia of fairies. But then she has like this academic rival, Wendell Bellamy, and the two compete in the academic area, but then Emily has to unlock the greatest mystery of which is her own heart. I didn't really like this book. I gave it a two star. Um, I thought that it was really boring and there were times where descriptions were being too overly descriptive. The pace was slow and it kept being distracted so I, you know I can really focus. I have to keep on rereading the same paragraph over again. I didn't like Wendell at all. I thought he was lazy and selfish which is probably the point of his character I guess. But like I feel like he was laughing at Emily that then with her, so I'm like so that kind of threw me off. I just didn't really like Wendell, and also the chemistry between Wendell and Emily, there was none. I couldn't feel any romance between the two. I also didn't like how some of the action off the scene is scientific research, but. Like, it's supposed to be scientific research, but it wasn't, so that was kind of a bum. Uh, but then, like, the ending, I didn't really like the ending, I thought it wasn't satisfied. But, um, yeah, I just didn't really like this book, I thought it was too boring. Like, and as well as the plot, the plot would also be inconsistent, something would happen, something wouldn't. So it, it was just like a weird pacing of it. And there's also two characters like Jace and Cassie, I think they were the name was. Like they betrayed each other, spoilers, they betrayed each other, but then they went back to each other after everything they had done to each other. So I'm like, I couldn't, like that's not really believable, so I don't know why that happened the way it happened. It just wasn't really believable, so there was no point. But um, yeah, so I gave it two stars. I didn't really like this book at all. And I have issues with pricing that. Like, this little thing cost me $30. This little thing. Why would this be $30? I don't know. It's not even worth $30 in all honesty. And my next one was a, a song that moves the sun by Anna Bright. And this is following uh, Claudia and Laura and how Laura is like... She's just tired of being a thing, she's tired of being everything, and then she had and then she meets these two men, Majin and Mia, who are off. But then they Major and Mia also have a secret and they are so then like so then Claudia and Mom are basically following a major and Mia because something was like amiss, something was happening with uh, so like something else been happening with the universe, so they go with Major and Mia to figure out why the universe has gone a wire, and now they have to go on a journey to find out what is causing the disharmony of the planet. And also, we are also following Dante Alighieri, Marco Polo, and Beatrice Portinetti, so I thought that was really good. So uh, I should really like this. I give it a four. Like it's like three point five to four stars. I had given out the ratings. I thought it was interesting and as well as the magic system was really interesting but like for the magic system I thought it was confusing at times I couldn't really keep quite understand as to what is happening with the magic system. I also really loved the settings of how the author described I thought it was beautifully written. However with, I did have some issues with the characters I didn't really like Lola. I thought she was annoying and self-centered but she did apologize for what she did in the book so and that was great but um i still a little bit like that uh claudia was a little bit better um by the way she had more personality about herself instead of relying on other people so much i didn't really like how she constantly had to keep um 
complaining about her problems and then constantly reminding us about what happened to someone else. Like she kept saying a lot of that. So I'm like, so I mean, I mean, they were okay, but I still kind of baffled. Like, I don't get it. Like, Claudia and Vava just flat out said, no, we're not gonna trust you, so don't come at us. And then they literally went with Amir and Major to go on that journey. It's like, what happened to that trust you didn't want in the first place? Like, how can you trust them that quickly? And they even said, Claudia and Vava even said they wanted to trust them, but they didn't in the end. So I'm like, okay. I also really like how we get to travel to the planets. To, I thought that was really cool. But the ending, I feel like the ending was satisfying. Like it just matched how it was. So I really like how the author ended the ending. But even though the, author, the ending was great, it still didn't really make me believe that that was it. Like I could have, it could have been more expanded on the ending, but. I didn't think that was kind of it, but I, like don't get me wrong, I still liked the ending, but like I thought it, it could have been more to it, so yeah. But like otherwise, um, I didn't like the book, I just really wish it wouldn't be so confusing at times, because it did got lost throughout the book, but otherwise I still enjoyed it. This book was The Language of Thorns by Leah Bardugo, and this is actually like short stories, like we have the Nutcracker, we have the Little Mermaid, Hansel and Gretzel, and all those fairy tales that we have grew up, but it's like different versions of it. This is from like the Grisha verse, which you actually do have to read Grisha, otherwise I feel like you wouldn't understand, so I didn't read the Grisha verse at all, so it was kind of hard for me to understand when the stories were going because I didn't read any Gavisha verse stories, but I still liked it. Like, it was really nice. And, like, there was trans... They are so pretty. I mean, look at it. Isn't it so gorgeous? I really... There was one... I really like the ending of one... Uh, Storytell. I mean, look at this. They're so gorgeous. So I gave this book four stars. I thought it was really pretty. Uh, I thought really, like the short stories were intriguing. I also like one of my favorite is the two claret fox, and when waters, when water sang fire. And so again, I really love the illustrations of the book. It was just so stunning. Uh, I really like how like like you know fairy tales just not end up having the happily ever after. So I really like to read the dark side of the fairy tales. Um, so you know, so like how they always go right into the sunset and everything is okay in the end. You know. So I really like the twist of the stories. I thought that was well done. Although, and you know, like how the bad guy doesn't get what they always want. So that's nice. I, I did like the stories. They were also dark as well. But there were some questions I had, like especially with the witch of Dula, when Nadia just went into the hut of the witch and she just tr like trusted the witch just like that. I'm like, you're not gonna question who she is, what she is, what and what is she doing in the middle of the woods? You're just gonna trust her like that? I'm like, okay. Uh, so that's kind of off. Like, why would you not question these things? So, and also the, the one on the story is the Nutcracker. I did love that one as well, but I feel like the relationship between the main guy and the girl who was 12 years old, the older guy wanted uh, I just hate these kind of relationships. Like the relationship between the, uh, I can't say it, they, Jocelyn and Clara it was just really uncomfortable. Clara was literally 12 years old and Dawson is like an older guy. So I hated that relationship. And like the guy literally sent a toy to spy on Clara. I'm like, that is just so... Oh, I don't like those relationships. I wish Arthur would stop writing those kind of relationships. So, like, I just can't stand them. 
It's just so uncomfortable. Oh yeah, I don't, but um, yeah, I don't have too much to talk about language of thorns. I do like the stories. I like the, you know, the mermaid one. <laughs> but um, yeah. My next one is Strike the Zaytha by Joanne He. And this is like from my, like the retail of the Theme Kingdoms, but it's like a gender bend. So instead of having all male, it's all females in this book. So I really like it. But um, basically, the years 14 of the Zen Dynasty and Chaos abounds. A puppet Empress, Empress is on the throne. The realm has fractured into three factions and three warlords le world hoping to claim the continent for themselves. So I thought this book was okay. I gave it three stars. Um, I did like Zephyr and how strong she was during the battlefield and like, how the commanding she was. So I really like Zephyr. Um, I thought the book also uh, started out strongly, but then it kind of fell downhill throughout the book. Um, so this book was action-packed a lot, which is kind of weird, but I was actually bored. Even with all the actions, I was just bored. So it didn't really work out well. Um, so there were times when Zephyr was arrogant, which also annoyed me, but I actually still like Zephyr anyways. So, and but, uh, I wish the character development of Zephyr was just a little bit more. I almost felt like it was non-existent at times. So I wish it had worked more on Zephyr. Um, also, I was kind of confused, and like halfway up the book, I was confused. I don't know what was happening. Like right after halfway, it was say in the book stands out too. So like right at that point forward, I was just confused. I didn't know what was going on. And so like it was, so I, there was that one part of the book I thought it was random for me. So I didn't really quite understand why it was that relevant and happening in there. I don't want to spoil it. But um, yeah, so. I did like how the book was all female, as I mentioned before, but like, even if it was all female, what happened to the men? Did the men exist in the book? Like, because we actually only got a few men in the book as well, so I'm like, why did they exist, but not other men? So what happened to the other men? So, yeah, also, um, I thought the ending was okay, but it was, you know, definitely a setup for the sequel, uh, obviously. I don't know if I'm gonna read a sequel. I hope so, but I don't know. Just because, like, this one's kind of was boring for me, so I don't know if I'm gonna read a sequel. But yeah, so those are my four books. Um, my book, my other book was A Luminous Fate, which I did not end up finish finishing because, you know, I was sick, so. I didn't end up finishing Luminous Fate, I won't be finishing that book for much. But anyways, those are all the books that I have read in February, so let me know what you had read in February. And please like, comment, and subscribe so that you'll be notified every time I post. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye!